Amy from the Unmistakably You Wedding Academy, and I'm here today with Danny from Invited by Danny. Hi, how are you? Good, okay, how are you? I'm awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming in today. Thank you. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your business in a nutshell? Sure. So, um, like I said, like you said, my name is Danny. I'm the owner of Invited by Danny. We are um, an invitation wedding stationery business, uh, focusing mostly on the invitation side and then bringing it to um, all the other little pieces that you need for your big day. Awesome. I'm always talking about repetition of elements and I'm such an advocate of hiring one stationer to do your invitations and then your table numbers and your place cards so that everything really ties together. Right. And Danny is amazing in that she can do all of that and more. Yes. <laughs> Um, so let's say you're meeting with somebody for the first time. What kinds of things should they keep in mind when they're hiring someone to do their stationery? Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is your style and trying to find the right fit. For example, I stick with a lot of more modern and clean elements from mm -hmm. wedding invitations, but there are some designers that have a little bit more of an elaborate um, invitation where there's layered paper or there's maybe custom die cuts involved. Um, so when you're looking at kind of Pinterest boards and seeing what you like, um, trying to focus on uh, honing down those key elements and seeing if that designer is something that specializes in it. So maybe exploring um, my website or my Instagram page and seeing what I have posted before. Um, definitely you can ask what I am capable of doing and if this idea that you would like to, tr to try um, works in that kind of way. But um, there's definitely still different designers like there is in every industry um, to kind of focus on and find that right fit for you. Absolutely, everybody has a, a unique style. Right. Fantastic. What would you say the most interesting or the coolest or the most unique thing you've ever done on someone's stationery is? Uh, something that's been really cool to see is the personality coming out from the couple. Mm -hmm. So I just did one uh, where they, they kind of have an overarching theme instead of just colors um, and like the kind of like rustic style themes, they had an overarching theme of the eat, drink, get married. So we kind of made a little graphic that went with that and that kept going on throughout their entire wedding. So it went to their coasters, it went into uh, their seating chart, and then it was on the back of their RSVP cards. So it kind of had that, the most important thing to them was good food, good drinks, and we're getting married. So they brought that even forward on their RSVP cards where um, typically you would ask um, what what kind of food you'd like so they asked that but then they said what's your favorite alcoholic beverage they were bringing in their own alcohol so oh. they specialized each um, whatever they were buying to, to meet the needs of their actual guests that's fantastic yeah I love it when a couple really goes that extra length to make sure that their guests have a wonderful experience yeah absolutely what would you say is the the best advice you could give a couple to make their stationery amazing so uh, keeping it personal and knowing yeah. and knowing their own style um, there's a lot of different uh, realms that you can do with invitations. Obviously, you can go a little bit higher end, um, or you can do a DIY route and do it yourself. Um, I kind of find myself right in the middle. So I help the, I help the couple um, kind of pull their ideas and of their overarching theme, and then creating the custom ones for them. So that you can still go on to all the websites and purchase them yourself if you're looking for that. But to spend a little bit more, um, you know that you're going to get a one-of-a-kind piece and that's very customizable to you. And like you said before, bringing it all the way through to their wedding. So sometimes you can't do a seating chart even if you just purchased a standard graphic. Right. So this way we can bring them all the way through. You have the same fonts and the same colors going through. Uh, so that's something that um, I find is really important and something that um, couples should kind of harness and so they can make their wedding and their kind of stationary and bring it all the way through. Great advice. Yeah. Where can people find you, Danny? Oh, I'm everywhere. Uh, I, <laughs> Excellent. There's my website, which is invitedbydanny.com. Uh, there's Facebook and Instagram, again, invitedbydanny.com. Um, also, Wedding Wire, you can find me on there. But um, I'm pretty much most active on my Instagram. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.